What up YouTube, Jordan Lance, we're rising back for another video today, and today I've got a very sad story to tell you today guys, so yes, as you can tell by the uh, thumbnail and the uh, video title, the red eye engine, I believe, has blown. Now, let me tell you what happened. So, it's kind of weird. Um, we upgraded the red eye to... 960 wheel horsepower, right? So we did an upper pulley 260, we did a lower 10% ATI, we did a 1200 FIC injectors, we did a triple pump four fuel system on E85, um, we already had the drive shaft and the diff brace on there, um, we did a 15 inch conversion and threw a 15 by 10 weld S77 in there with a Mickey Thompson 315 60 15, um yeah and we ran 99 on that setup um we've we've run it twice at the drag strip i actually upgraded the snout to a ported snout i upgraded the throttle body to a 105 throttle body um and then changed the intake to a leg maker intake uh, we added a lid spacer on the supercharger so basically giving the supercharger more breathability um, to be, have less stress uh, with all that boost we're throwing at it so uh, once we did that we had to retune it so uh, we retuned it on friday uh, alex retuned it with kurt on friday Everything was good, did a couple pulls on the dyno. Uh, we didn't gain that much power uh, because we didn't want to throw more torque and power at it. Uh, we want to take it to the drag strip and data log and then throw the power at it after we locked in you know, everywhere along the way. Um, so we were just throwing the blanket on after we retuned it. And I was actually there at the shop with the guys and we so everything was good right we pulled it over to the spot we, we undid the supercharger right lifted it up put the blanket in there um exactly how you're supposed to do it made sure we covered up everything when it was opened up um put it all back together it was looking beautiful we turn on the car three seconds later we get this rattling shaking in the engine da -da 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 -da, engine knock man that is the worst feeling <laughs> i could tell you um and yeah, so we, we took apart the super, well, first we, we turned off the car, right? We, I, I was driving, I turned off the car right away and then we're like, all right, let's, you know, look, see if anything, you can see anything that's loose or anything crazy. No, it looked fine. We turned it on again, boom, right away. Ah, da, 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 da. Horrible sounds. Um, and you could just tell it was the, it was in the engine. It's a rod is grind or pistons grinding on the side of the block. So, um, yeah, we, we took it apart, made, we, you know, put a flashlight down into the engine, see if we could see anything. Everything looks fine up top, so it's got to be underneath. Something happened. Um, and yeah, it sucks, but it is what it is. You know, we're going to open it up tomorrow and uh, see exactly what it is. But um, yeah, I mean, that's that's part of the race game, guys. If, if you're not prepared to, to have something go wrong, then you probably shouldn't be upgrading your 797 horsepower car any more than it already is. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, obviously I wanted to push the stock block and transmission much further. You know, I wanted to run at that horsepower for red list. And unfortunately, unless, you know, it's something very minor that we see tomorrow, uh, I'm not going to make red list and at this point, you know, I'm, I'm very frustrated. It sucks. You know, when it happened, it's, you know, it's tough, but it's nobody's fault. Alex didn't build the motor. The motors, you know, was built from the factory. Um, the tune was clean. We reviewed the tune to see if there's anything crazy in it. And it ran on the dyno multiple times, you know, full horsepower. And uh, it must have been, you know, maybe on one of those dyno runs, we bent a rod a little bit. Um, but yeah it uh it ran clean and you know even pulled it over into a spot it was fine all of a sudden when we put the supercharger back on after throwing the blanket on there we got engine knock so um yeah obviously not what we're looking for but uh, uh i believe everything happens for a reason you know um 
I think that now we have a chance to build the engine and then throw more horsepower at it. So um, that is kind of jumping ahead of tomorrow. So we need to see exactly what's wrong. If it's a bent push rod, maybe we just throw some new rods and pistons in there um, and keep going, you know. Uh, but if it's, it looks nasty, then we're just gonna build the engine. So um, if, if we already got it out, we might as well just build it. And uh, yeah, it came at somewhat of a good time because as we talked about last video, I have some big plans for something else to be brought to the channel. So um, yeah, that comes in at some point uh, in the near future, but still making some decisions in there. So uh, yeah, stay tuned for the next video on that one and stay tuned for the next video where we go to, we're gonna see what exactly what happened in the engine and I'll talk you through that. But yeah guys, basically red eye engine is blown. Uh, I'm not sure to what degree, but uh, yeah, it sucks. But at the same time, you know, everything happens for a reason. We're gonna build it, we're gonna throw more power at it, we'll be the fastest red eye in Cali. For now, uh, we're gonna go pick up the new steering wheel for the red eye, unfortunately, it's not gonna be used to drive it, but we, uh, we got sponsored by Impressive Carbon. Check him out on Facebook, Instagram, whatever, YouTube, whatever he's got. I know he's got Instagram, because that's how we uh, got in contact, so uh, yeah, go follow Impressive Carbon. We're gonna go pick it up right now. Um, and then I'll also show you what I'm talking about with engine knock. So um, I'll, I'll find an example. I'll show you right here. So that's what happened to us, guys. We started the engine up and then it just started. But yeah. Now what we're looking for, obviously, I uh, wanted to get a little more out of that engine, out of that transmission. Um, the transmission's fine. At least not everything broke. Um, at least it didn't break while I was driving. Uh, didn't break it red list to where I was two hours away from home or something and had to you know, figure out the towing situation. Cause I don't tow my cars. I bring those motherfuckers straight to the track, pull up, gap you, go home. <laughs> So, uh, yeah, I'm not big on the towing scene, but yeah, if anything happens, you know, it is what it is. So, uh, yeah, guys, we might be having a built red eye here in the next couple months. Um, but yeah, I got some other content for you soon. So don't run away from the channel yet because I got some big exciting news for you coming soon. Um, so, yeah, stay tuned, guys. Let's go get that steering wheel. So uh, this is what I'm stuck driving. Now that my red eye's down, the charger's being rented. I gotta drive a Subaru BRZ to go get this steering wheel. So, Levi? Yeah, so Jordan. Man. Nice to meet you, brother. Nice to meet you too. Yeah, bro, he's been replying out of DMs right now, so we're offering more uh, partial sponsorships. So. Yeah, I saw you got a bunch of sponsorships going. You still got spots open, right? Yeah, we got a few spots, so you got any, any friends or anything? Yeah, I'm sure, spots. man. Yeah, yeah let's, let's, let's check out the Z06 really quick. You got the carbon fiber splitter on it. Oh, so this attaches like all the way up here, huh? Yeah. So. That thing's sick. Oh yeah, you got the carbon fiber up here, the gas cap. <laughs> hey, follow him on Instagram, ambitious LV, and impressive carbon. Oh man, so you did all these with the seats and everything? Yeah, bro, the seats. The seats, we you got, got the, the steering wheel, paddle shifters. Paddle shifters, we got the console. Oh man, yo, this one's way cleaner than that other one you did. The other one that was all red was like a little crazy. Oh yeah, yeah, no, this one, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I just, uh, I went to Cars and Coffee yesterday. Oh, yeah? So I just kind of just slapped everything together real quick. Because, I mean, I'm not done with it. So, yeah, yeah, what else are you going to do? Uh, you got to do the dash right here and the top of the dash. Still the okay, you're going to do all that? So, yeah, do all that. <laughs> so, what about uh, performance-wise? Did you jump it up in here or stock? Uh, just, what is it? Uh, AFE intake. Got the okay. Okay. Throttle body. <laughs> Uh, okay. X5, yeah, so this thing's nasty horse, uh, for sure. So what are you putting out on it? Do you know? What was that, bro? How much horsepower is it putting out right now? Well, I mean, it's just it's not tuned yet, so okay. I'm gonna need to get my uh, headers, and then I'm gonna go like on a 81 tune. So that should. 
push it up, you know, a good amount. Yeah. But right for now, sure. bro, yeah, no tune, just kind of chilling, going to car meets, just uh, cool, man. the carbon, you know. Got that uh, windshield tinted, that's. Oh, yeah, yeah. That thing's clean. <laughs> I, it's tinted all around, so. It looks yeah, good. Well, show me what, what's up with this, this steering wheel, man. Show me the the full tour. Yeah, before I forget, bro, here's the oh, yeah. 50. Okay, cool. Decal. All right. Cool, cool. That's pretty much it, bro. It's going to be real simple. It's all OEM fitment. So, okay. you know, how you take off the other one, you're pretty much going to slap everything back on. Okay. Um, you know, like the paddle shifts, the control buttons, everything should work exactly the same as Perfect. you have the other one. So. Awesome. Yeah. So then we got the uh, LED display up here. So is that going to tell me like my RPMs at all times? Yeah, everything. Okay. RPMs. Uh, it'll give you the, the gas, you know. Uh, oh, really? Yeah. It tells me the gas too. All the stuff. And then. Um, temperature, everything. So. Oh, really? You can, yeah. Wow. And you can even, uh, you can, uh, I can send you a link later on how to pretty much uh, control the, change the lights and stuff. So. Okay. You can always change the lights to any, any color you kind of want. Oh, sick. But um, yeah. And yeah. then it tells me like it goes red when it's like telling you to shift, shift yeah. right? Okay. Cool, man. Well, it's it's awesome, man. So nice. Got the nice grip in there. Paddle shifters go right in the back right yeah. there. Pretty much. Yeah. Pretty much just locks right on. Beautiful. Got that red stitching in there. Looks great. So how long does it take you to make one of these? I mean, you made it pretty quick for I me. Mean, it was like 10 days. Usually, right? Not even. Usually when we have the cores in stock, it doesn't uh -huh. take that long. Uh, it just takes longer just kind of like finding the core and then, you know, making it. Got Usually it. it'll take about like 25 days. But if we have the okay. core, we get started, you know, um, right away. I mean, right now, since you were, you were the first one, right now people got to wait about like, what is it, like 30 days right now? Oh, just, really? Because we got a lot wow. of orders. Okay. Um, so you yeah, were the you've, first you've one been doing that sponsorship program. Yeah, yeah. and then right now, it, huh? like, we, we got like two more earlier this morning when I posted it. So, I mean, it's just, you know what I mean? We do them as they come. We don't jump anyone. So, as, yeah, as yeah. they come in, we just kind of get started on them. Cool, man. Um, but we do have the core. Could do it about 15 days. Nice. Well, yeah, hopefully we can uh, get the word out about you, get some more people on the program, and, uh, yeah, get you some more business, man. Yeah, thank you. Absolutely. I can't wait to throw this thing on, but uh, I got I got some bad news for you, bro. What happened? What the... <laughs> Last night, or yesterday during the day, we, uh, so we had my car retuned. I threw, like, a bunch of new stuff on it. Yeah. Um, and we were just throwing the blanket on there to kind of, okay. like, help between the supercharger and the engine, make it a little cooler, you know? Yeah. Um, we put everything back together and I was just about to take it to the exhaust shop and like mess with my exhaust a little bit. Yeah. Turned it on three seconds later. Fucking engine knock, bro. So it's down for a bit again? I mean, down. they're going to check it out tomorrow, but, uh, basically if we're going to have to replace the pistons and rods, then I'm pretty much just going to build it. You know, I'm, while we're in there, we might as well just build everything. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah that makes sense. So yeah. yeah, I might go, I'm deciding between going like a 400 and then keeping the stock blower Yeah. or going 426 and throwing a Whipple on there and like just making it an absolute monster. You know what I mean? Okay, well, yeah, yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> so, oh, yeah. um, yeah, I mean, I this thing's freaking. I can't wait to throw it on there, but now I can't even drive my car. I'm not gonna go to Red List on December fifth. Sucks, but yeah. If it's just like pistons and rods, and it's not too bad, and it's yeah. like you know, we might just replace them and then go to Red List, and then maybe we'll build the motor later. Then maybe yeah. we'll do that. But if it's like fucked up and the blocks all, you know, scratched yeah. up and everything, then, longer to do. No, yeah, that we, sense, we but... might just have to build it. So. Yeah, I mean, I was pretty excited. I mean, whenever you get you know a chance to. Take a picture. Absolutely. You know, send yeah. it to us. I'll do a whole install video and everything. We'll yeah, bro. I mean, a lot of people, yeah. it would help a lot of people too, just knowing how to install. Cause, I mean, we get a lot of questions how to install them, so we have to guide them through everything. So, Perfect. yeah, I mean, that video would help a lot of people how to. No worries. Um, yeah, get some. Yeah, man. Stuff. Definitely shoot a lot of pictures of it. Yeah, tag you. Picture, just um, send it to us, repost it, bro. Just, yeah. I'll, I'll tag you in every post I have too, because yeah, I, I, I like list the parts on my pictures, cool, cool. you know? So, yeah, uh, yeah man. Hopefully, uh, well, I got I got something else coming too that I'm not gonna say right now, but <laughs> yeah, I told you, but yeah, yeah that's uh me. that's coming soon. So yeah, bro. yeah we'll get Can't that wait, that dude. one so, going so next. You so. me, let us know, bro. Yeah, man, absolutely. But uh, yeah, let's check this thing out one more time. It looks bigger than the stock one. Is it a little bit, or is it pretty much the same size? Uh, just because it's like uh, it just looks. Or just because it's, it's out of the carbon, car. Obviously. Okay. So it just. It's the same, it should Things be the same, it. it's a little thicker. It's so beautiful, man. Uh, that perforated leather. Too. Okay. Uh, we also did do, uh, in the bag you have custom finger grips, so. When you oh, check it, that out. Bag, yeah, you, you got finger nice, grips up here. Yep, you do have a nice hold of it. Man, that's some good work. So you guys do it all in just a shop right around here, yeah? 
Yeah, my uh, buddy's out in Tustin, so. Okay. Yeah, he doesn't live too far. Out in Orange County here. It was just a little hour drive, so awesome. Well, I appreciate you, brother. Yeah, bro. I'm gonna check out that Z06 one more time, but uh, <laughs> yeah, man, this thing is beautiful. So, you got an intake on there. Yeah, we got all uh, the all the carbon. I actually have a carbon one too. The intake. I do, oh, really? Uh, it's a, I have a port throttle body. Got the X pipe uh, from a uh, what is it? Corsa, Corsa okay. exhaust, and yeah, I'm just going to do the headers. Nice man. It's gonna be loud going, as hell, no? Like, oh yeah, it's, it's pretty loud right now as it is, bro. Your I mean, neighbors hate you or what? With, with headers, I'm like, damn. <laughs> yeah, you already got X pipe. You throw headers on it and yeah, tune it. Yeah, it's gonna be insane. Yeah, but I've been working a lot on the carbon. I do. I just got like, uh, I do have a carbon diffuser and everything, carbon spoiler. Okay. So I've been working a lot of carbon right now. It's clean, man. All right, guys. That's all we got for you today. Blown engine. Picking up a beautiful steering wheel for a car that can't even drive right now. So check it out one more time. Man, it looks beautiful. I cannot wait to get this beauty installed. But yeah, follow Impressive Carbon on Instagram. Hit them up. They got more sponsorship spots available now. And uh, yeah, Jordan Lance, Red Eye Racing. Thanks for tuning in. See you next time. <laughs>